kind of got distracted by the music over here, was just jamming out for a second. It's very good. Right? Right, though? If you haven't played Paradise Killer yet, you should 100% play Paradise Killer. It's a great game. It's an absolute hoot. Um, and the soundtrack is, it both slaps and is a bop. <laughs> Glow! Hi! Hi, friends! But yeah, hi, friends! I should say hi to everybody. Hello, friends! Welcome! There's so many of you here already. What the heck? What the heck? But hi, how's everyone doing? How are you all? How are things? It's been a hell of a day again. <laughs> Looks like Fruity Spruce has gotta go. Sorry, buddy. Also, um, because I forgot to open this up already. Grip it and rip it. Uh, <laughs> ready to clutch your candles, slow your hearts gonna be beautiful and great. I am very excited about this game. I really enjoyed it the other day when we played it. Um, even with it crashing at the end. It was still very good. It was still a good game. So I'm very excited to see what other nonsense we're gonna get into uh, with this dang game. Why you need to sleep, Matt? Matt, you gotta sleep, buddy. I know the piss potion did an absolute number on you, but sleep. <laughs> you hope you see the Lamias again today? I hope you don't. That was a whole thing. <laughs> you guys are wild. You guys are wild. Um, It's great. <laughs> anyway, yeah, we're going to do more, more uh, Song of Horror tonight gonna be exciting and fantastic. I'm great. It's, yeah. Um. Uh, wait, Jody, you got four what? Wait, what, what do you have four of? Also, maybe you should go beat up the sounds, Matt. If you beat up the sounds, they can't hurt you. That's how that works, right? Oh, four hours of sleep. Okay. Well, you should also go to sleep. For <laughs> Matt, no. No. Uh, <laughs> got him. Facts. Uh, God damn it, y'all. No, uh, it's gonna be great. More Song of Horror. I'm excited. I also gotta start figuring... You just, you... I don't know. That's for you to figure out. But you can do it. Also, Emmy, hello. Um, uh, so bad stayed up all night trying to punch the sound. <laughs> the fuck y'all um I don't remember everything that happened I don't remember where we left off yesterday cause the game crashed uh but it should be fine but I keep hearing all the music that's playing and I'm like ugh but I wanna play that game again I wanna revisit Paradise Killer and the medium um uh, and all this stuff <laughs> well have you considered doing it better i don't i really don't want to revisit control actually um here is the lamia wall don't worry about it i'm not no we're not gonna revisit control it's not gonna happen <laughs> it's not gonna happen you're so loud the opening on this game is so loud oh boy all right hold on i gotta scoot the window so I can see a little better. Um, but yeah, we've been playing as Alexander and he hasn't died yet, so that's exciting. No, we're not gonna revisit Barrow Hill, but I did, I may or may not have purchased the second Barrow Hill uh, shortly after the first Barrow Hill uh playthrough that we did so that may or may not be a thing we do at some point maybe during an afternoon stream or something um <laughs> it's wednesday my dudes ah uh, also sir this is a wendy's <laughs> Thank you for the biddies, Emmy. I appreciate it. Also, yeah, it's Wednesday, my dudes. Ah! 
yeah. Yeah, so the axolotl is uh, our text-to-speech lady. Her name is Kimmerald. Um, she is a robot. She is a robot axolotl. And she's perfect, and we love her. Um, welcome, Matt, to the ridiculousness that is our channel. I realize you've never been here before. Uh, so, hey, hi, welcome. This is me. <laughs> <laughs> I would watch 10 hours of Kimmerold just repeating vines in the way that Kimmerold does. Yeah, Kimmerold is perfect. We love her. I do love M.E. <laughs> it's very good. Very good. Uh, but yeah, Kimmerold is perfect and fantastic and we adore her. Um, I feel like she's really loud. Is she loud? Is she too loud? She seems like she's a little loud. Um, so I'm gonna just turn her down just a smidge. Just a skosh. And that should be better. Hip to sneeze. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, just a, a single smidge loud. Oh, no. Well, you guys keep finding out over those bubbles. We're going to continue on with episode one of uh, this dang game. This dang spooky game. <laughs> Wait, excuse me? Hold on. I need to not be using... Uh, hold on a second. Wait a second. Hold on a second. I can't go back. Hey, game? Hey, game? What did you do to Alexander? Uh, <laughs> uh, we're gonna exit out for a second. I almost wrote Silence of Signs. That is that is the incorrect game. That is the wrong game, Emmy. That is not correct. <laughs> that is not correct. Um, Song of Silence. Y'all are getting it all bad. He might have escaped the game. He might have been like, I don't wish to exist in this realm anymore. To which it's like, but I don't blame you. But also, we were doing so well with you. So... So, okay, so he is listed here. You will lose your character if you abandon them in the face of mortal danger. What the fuck? Where's Alexander? So this is a problem. Um... Right? We didn't abandon anything. Alexander's a grumpy old drunk Russian who just just wanted to find his wife. He just wanted to find his wife, Masha. Do we want to be Etienne? I think I think he's gone. Like I'm try I'm trying to select him. And it's just giving me a thumpy noise. I did no such thing! The game forced me to abandon him. What the fuck? Game 8 Alex. I don't wanna- I don't wanna reset the data. <laughs> we played three hours! Three hours! So Alexander's just dead. Okay. This is the last save! Y'all, 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 y'all. This is the last save. 
That first save is like when we first tried to play months back, like back in like April or whatever, when we first tried to play the game and then it kept crashing on us because, you know, this game hates NVIDIA graphics cards. Um, that's what that first save is from. That second save, the one that I've selected is the save from Monday. Well, this is, this is, this is not great. This is not a great way to start. All right. Well. Yeah, Alex is gone and I am upset. Can we get an F in chat for Alexander? Alexander Laskins, the best drunk Russian I've ever met. Thank you. Thank you, Emmy. I guess we'll try playing as Etienne and... <laughs> AlexanderLaskins.exe has crashed? I am upset. What does this mean for our progress then? Yeah. At least in, in recent recent memory. We're, <laughs> the worst drunk Russian? I don't know. I probably... Fuck you, game. You know what? Fuck you, game. <laughs> <sighs> All right, so losing your characters. Sadly, you just lost one of your characters. When this happens, the victim is no longer a part of the story. If you lose a character, every item in their inventory will drop them uh, to the ground. The location of these items will appear on your map with the following icon. As long as you still have playable characters, your progress in the game will be saved. But be careful, if you lose them all, you'll have to restart the episode. That Does that answer your question, Matt? <laughs> we'll have to start all over. Right? Fuck this game. Ugh. Right? It's... Uh, that's... Frustrating. Also, thank you, Travis, for the, the contribution to the reading stream. I am upset, but it looks like it saved all of our progress, for the most part. Look, he's died in the same fucking room! Like... <laughs> so the game knows. The game knows it's because I had to quit, right? Also, Emmy, thank you for the contribution as well. There's... There's Alex! We found him! There's all that remains of our boy. Hmm. Hmm. Don't freak out on me. <sighs> yep, Alex is a satchel boy now. It's this these are facts. Uh this is this gentleman, this man that we were playing as, is the uh is Daniel's boss? Daniel's the dude from the very beginning of the game who got trapped in the dimension door. Uh, so he's like not the head of the publishing company, but he's one of the one of the big boys at the publishing company. He loves paperwork. Just loves that stuff. Mm -hmm. Um yeah, try to get the folder, I guess. This is the only I mentioned already like these words already because they're good they're good words all right we got haiku folder number two piece of collectible blue folder there are several sheets of papers inside okay i mean dimensions are cool until you get stuck in places that are bad orange ragdoll's the last ragdoll that we needed right hold on i need to unbury all of my uh my notes from the other day I'm Emmy, you only say that because you're constantly stuck in the void. Baby, I love you. <laughs> but this is what happens when you uh deal with Stockholm syndrome in relation to voids and dimension doors. Um <laughs> Sorry, friends. <laughs> uh -huh, of course, of course you don't. Um <laughs> Some dimensions are cool, sure, but a lot of them are not great. Okay, what do we got? Let's look at our map real fast, right? Okay. <laughs> see, see what you did? I see what you did there, Travis. It's what Travis has done is written us a haiku. <laughs> Let me just explain this. Let me ruin the joke for everyone. 
<laughs> nah, Travis coming in with the good, good jokes. Yeah, that's that 575 shit. <laughs> okay. We're gonna, we're gonna focus here. Got a couple of things that we gotta pay attention to, right? So the, can I, can I make you see my cursor for just a second? Just a, just a, just a moment for just one dang second. Nope. Nope. Does, it doesn't want it. Okay, cool. Love that. I was going to try and point stuff out, but you know, that's fine. Yeah. Game doesn't pause when the map is up. I do remember this. We're outside. Everything's fine, right? So we're safe. We're safe out here. Right? Nothing bad could happen to us outside. I didn't actually remember, so I appreciate the reminder. But we do got to look at our map real fast. Um, okay, so the question mark is the bathtub that I refused to stick my hand into because it was gross and nasty. Um, the gear in the living room is the fireplace. We have matches. We put the sticks into the fireplace. We just need some sort of kindling, right? Um, the puzzle piece in the playroom is the, is the dollhouse. And I have the sec or the very last doll that we need to figure out that puzzle with nothing in the attic done everything in the basement reminder the little ovals with the slash through them are places that we can hide um and it looks like i have every door unlocked at the moment which is exciting i haven't explored the one room on the first floor on the very left because there was something behind there we're hiding from sh from shadow monsters don't worry about it. <laughs> Matt and Emmy, same person? Not same person. Oh, I should have slowed down. We don't have a candle. We have a lighter. We got a wimpy little lighter. What is this? Solvent. Solvent's flammable, right? Can I examine this? What is this? Oh, Etienne's got a family. Um, I do get how that's worse. I do. I do. <laughs> okay, so we've got. Can I inspect? Won't let me inspect. In inspect. Can't even. Wow. Okay, so I can't use this like at all. <laughs> <laughs> that's I don't I don't like the idea of Emmy being psychically connected with Matt that's too much chaos we don't get the flask unfortunately which is a shame because you know what you know what a flask would do set fire to that fireplace very very quickly let's go do the dollhouse puzzle I guess Etienne's just gonna show up and be like, I know what's happening in this household. No worries here. Don't forget to caress the doors. I can only caress the doors if there's an ear icon, but I do need to remember to go into room slowly. Is this... That is the wash closet. No ear icon. Um... Sudden urge to mix monster and Red Bull. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> Don't do it. It's that's bad. Okay, so the puzzle that we had. Don't do it. <laughs> so we had one that was hungry, one that was making dinner, one that was reading, one in the shower, and one watching the door. Mom was in the shower. Ugly one was watching the door. And the others didn't really have any sort of... Not gonna happen. Well, that was a waste of time. Oh, okay. Okay, cool. Um... <laughs> I don't know... We 
didn't really... Don't worry about it. It's fine. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Where is... Not the safe riddle. Second letter from Isaac. Third letter. Fourth letter. Masha's recording. Black and white photo. Note from Masha. Wrinkled piece of paper. Is it Julia's and Saul's notes? Ugh. No. Dusty notes? No. Oh no. <laughs> this isn't it. What? But who was phone? <laughs> I mean, you got a lot of a lot to pick up, deal with. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, that's not where. Oh, this is it. Okay, so one will be hungry, so her friend made or her friend will make dinner for her. Another one will read while her mum takes a shower. The ugly one will watch the door so nobody comes in. I like the handwriting in this game too. I mean, like we've got like we've got this really fancy handwriting from from the toy shop owner. And then you've got like the little kids' handwriting. Like the top one is from Julia and the bottom, this one is from uh, Saul. It's very good, I like it. It does, no, so the front side, um, the front side was just Julia being like, meh, I don't like everything, it's bad. And then the back side is the, the only one that had mentions of the dolls. So is it like, color like does the color tell me anything about it here let's we'll just read through it real quick i saw another door yesterday as i was walking by the dining room i suddenly heard the music from daddy's music box when i went in i saw the door i went running to tell mummy but when we came back it was gone she scolded me for making things up it's not fair i was telling the truth there was an old door here different from the rest it even had a key in the keyhole if i see it again i'll go inside and leave the door open that way mummy will believe me so that's all from julia literally nothing that i need um and then saul says i saw the weird door julia said the one that wasn't there before back side of it is mummy was very angry and kept yelling at julia the door is scary i will hide the key in the dollhouse and i will hide the five dolls too even if they get mad at me and i will bring them out when mummy and julia forget about the door Yeah, yeah, yeah. Julia, a kid, went into the dimension door. It's fine. <laughs> and there's no mention of it. But there is, so... I don't know if it makes any difference. One will be hungry, so her friend will make her dinner. So that's gonna be, like, two of the younger ones. Another one will read while her mom takes a shower. And the ugly one will watch the door so nobody comes in. So one of them is related to this, this terrible doll, which has a bonnet. It doesn't, there's not really anything that I can like determine about any of these dolls, you know? And I can't look at them individually. Where would the... <laughs> one might be Julia, one might be Saul. That's a fair point. Well, I think only one would be... Ooh, I can look at them. Okay, so we've got a green doll with two hair buns and glasses. That's... that's We know which one that is. We've got a rag doll with a flower in her hair. A rag doll with a short ponytail. And a rag doll wearing a hat. This has to be the mum, right? Blue is mommy? 
Are we in agreement with that? Do your lurk. Take your test. Make the doll dance. There you go. <laughs> that's a shower cap, definitely. Okay, that's what I thought. So, all right. So I'm gonna write blue next to mum. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. <laughs> um, so which one is related to her? Which one, I guess, which one is related to the blue one? Blue one doesn't really have any, like, distinguishing features. Oh, I don't know that I have the towel anymore, though. Is the problem. You want to see this wiggly boy, though? I wish I could show off the towel orb, but I don't have the towel anymore. But there is this wiggly boy. He's very nudable. This is it's it's Frank 2.0. It's Frank's weird cousin that no one talks about. <laughs> Lanky boy is very good. Um, okay, so we're gonna do. He's the he's the ugly doll, okay. This one They're all filthy and they don't really have any like distinguishing features, right? Aside from like she's got a flower in her hair. Lanky boy stuffed with nightmares. My favorite. I don't that would make sense I mean if we're going by like child logic only nerds wear glasses <laughs> okay no that would again just kind of trying to like follow the logic of this child right pretty one is probably in here this one in the kitchen. Then where does this guy go? Hold on. Um, I'm gonna write these down so I like know which order I've put them in. But where's the door? But where's the door? <laughs> Don't think we understand. Oh, wait. Right, 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 right. I've thought about this, yeah. Uh, door was in the study, so it'd be in here. Smart. Good call. Good call. My dumb brain was like, front door. <laughs> hey, little door just opened. I'm taking that key. Old key. Heavy metal door. Or heavy metal key was hidden in the dollhouse. Haven't seen a single keyhole in this house big enough for a little key like that. <laughs> it was your turn with the, uh, with the brain cell. The single brain cell that we're all sharing. Um, I forgot to grab my cup. Hold on a second. Okay, game. Don't get caught while I grab my cup. My cup's just right here. Don't get me. Don't get me, game. I knew I forgot something. I got out my water, but then didn't pour any out for me to drink. And that's a bit of a problem when you're a thirsty girl all right okay so we got the old key right i i don't think it can because there are no or like no settings about being able to hear a microphone or anything like that but i am still not convinced that it's not trying to hear me um, can I use the solvent in the, in the fireplace? Oh, okay. The Ferris wheel was going. I mean, not really, but I can't think of anything else that I can do with the fireplace, you know? Cause I've got these, like, I've got the haiku stuff. 
but I can't use that. Can I combine these? No. No, okay, never mind. So yeah, at this point I've got solvent, I've got the matchbox, which we know for is for the fireplace, and then we've got the key, which I assume is the key for the spooky door. But the spooky door hasn't shown itself just yet. I could try to go through the door that we haven't checked yet. Okay, and there is, there's a hiding spot in that room. Just trying to keep myself aware of what's happening at any given time. No, there's still spooky stuff on the other side of that door. I don't want to go there. Okay. God, this house is so loud. I guess I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try using the solvent in the fireplace. I don't know what else I can do. Otherwise, my only, my only option is to stick my hand in the gross water. Also, yes, alien isolation does listen to your microphone. Um, fun fact, it will listen to you. Uh, because when you go to hide from the xenomorph, it'll, like, hear you if you're, if you're talking or whatever. And it'll be like, mm-mm-mm, we know you're there. Because it's spooky. I never actually finished Alien Isolation. Hmm. Solvent does work. <laughs> mm -mm. <laughs> I mean, you can you can turn it off in in the settings. It's not like a setting that you absolutely have to have. Um, you can be like, I don't want you to listen to my mic, and it won't. But it is an option to turn on. <laughs> um, it's the added fear. The smell is penetrating, but at least I uh, managed to light the fireplace. Okay, but why? What good has this done? Someone is stomping. I do like the squeaky shoe mod. I am a fan of that. Um. <laughs> mean somebody would damn. God damn what is that what the fuck what the fuck what the fuck spooky scary skeletons and shivers down your spine shrieking skull will shock your soul and seal your doom tonight I just want to point out I have turned that down where the heck did that hideous thing come from Ada save us we are Doomed. There are bad things in there. There are things in there. There are things in there. I would like to leave this room. Thank you. Travis, you did it good and I hate it. Okay, my heart's still tripping out. We'll just hang out by the fire for a minute. Um. Okay, I think I have to. I think I have to stick my hand in the bad in the bad water. And I'm not pleased about that. <laughs> Surprise! The jump scares are just Travis. <laughs> Also, this house sounds like it's about to, like... Did I... 
okay, hold on a second. Did I misunderstand the stats? Did we think Alexander was was afraid of everything and actually he wasn't? And so now we're playing as the character that gets very easily scared? Is that... Clips shouldn't be broken. Why is Clips broken? Oh no. Try, try refreshing? Do I really need to look for something in there? I'd have to put my hands in. Yeah, you gotta. There's nothing else for us to do. Etienne. Oh, well then I don't know, buddy. I did it bad. Um, so I was right. Uh, that tub, bad deal. Not great. Was not fantastic. Yeah, I think I might have misunderstood the, uh... <laughs> I think I might have misunderstood the stats. Um, which doesn't make any sense, because, like, Etienne was freaking out constantly, but Alexander was just like, whatever, he's fine. <laughs> yeah, we're kind of going through them now, and that's not great. Okay, do we want Sophie or Alina? I guess those are our two only options. Alina or Sophie? Daniel's wife or some random electrician? <laughs> um, I guess Alina has more serenity than Sophie does. Sophie is easily spooked. We want to do electrician. Let's go. With, we'll go with Alina then. All right. <laughs> oh boy. Um. Wow, I've done this bad so far. We've done this bad. I'm- I'm still upset about Alexander, honestly. Had I known? Well, it's not like I could have done anything about it anyway. But, like, I get- I get wanting to encourage people to do this in a single sitting, but that doesn't work well as a streamer when- if I need to get through a single episode in a single sitting. Oof. Okay. Well, Lena's got a cool flashlight. The door was open. Were they waiting for me? Hmm. No. No, they were not. <laughs> Let's go pick up our stuff. Oh, boy. I miss Alexander. Someone left us behind. Don't worry about it, it's fine. Okay, yeah, I've got an old key. I don't... Okay, this is a problem. Um... Because... The... The only room I haven't explored is the room upstairs. But maybe now that I've tried to get into the study and I can hear that there's something in there, maybe I can get into the room upstairs now? I don't want to... Alright. Knowing that the game will just randomly kill me. Uh, like it did with the bath. Well, I say randomly kill me. It obviously was a bad idea to to touch it. But I didn't know what else to do. <laughs> um, I'm not... No. <laughs> I... I'm trying to think of, like, what else can be done. 
These are like my only options. It's just hope that there's nothing at this door anymore. We, there were four characters in total and we've killed two. <laughs> we only have two left. We only have two characters left. One after Alina. Um, and it's not great. Yeah, we killed one, the game killed one. I'm st I am upset about the Alexander thing. Like, had I known? I wish it had told me that if I, like, quit partway through the game, that that would- it would be an issue. No, there's bad things in here! I mean, it could be very bad! small child to find maybe i mean i can hear crying but i can hear like i guess in the i guess downstairs it sounded different i didn't hear the crying i just heard the like the scratching sound again i'm just concerned about opening the door and just having alina get fucking got you know <laughs> do we do it is this what we want to do are we the game is not scratches now. But do we want to set like attempt attempt it potentially sacrifice Lena? Are we fine with going through this episode again? That's the question. Do it. Okay. All right. All right. Fucking do it. Jump scare. It's going to be a jump scare. <laughs> Bad door. Alina did not make it. Oh, fuck. To be fair, we can get through this episode again a little faster. It's just Sophie now. <laughs> this is... This is frustrating. Whenever I light one, everything around me feels safer and more peaceful. Um... I don't want to cut it close for the content. Fuck the content. I want to play the game and play it good. <laughs> no, I just, like... We were doing so well with Alexander. And there wasn't any, like, there was no indication that if we quit the game... What will you learn? What will you learn? That your actions have consequences! Not ever. Like, if that's what it's gonna do, fine. But let me know ahead of time so I don't just come back to my game and be like, yo, why is my character gone? Um. <laughs> like, I kinda understand the reasoning of, oh, well, you've abandoned them in the house and they've just stood there and then they got okay. got. Like, okay, cool. Is but also, home? don't, don't yell. Stop it. Um. I don't know what to do. I have now run out of ideas. We need to go get our stuff back, right? The only... The only place that has stuff left in it is the study. But I can't... But there's spooky sounds! And poor Sophie's gonna get got! And we don't want that. I assume we like Sophie. <laughs> I miss Alexander. I mean, this, yeah, the stuff's in the hallway, so it's okay, but it doesn't make it any better. Also, thank you for the hydrate, Emmy. <laughs> I mean, the saying goes last but not least, right? Yeah, crying's still there. Um. Can I examine? Huh. 
this is key for? It seems out of place even for this house. Personal item uses left. Sophie always said that the scent of these candles made her feel at peace. Safer. Oh boy. Again, the only thing I can think of is trying to open up that door downstairs. Uh, into the study where the, the spooky door is. But I don't... I don't think that's what right. What will you learn? What will you learn? That your actions have consequences! Y'all. <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> Matt's found the sounds. It's gonna be a problem. Slash, if it's going to be a problem, I will turn them off. Don't think I won't. I am speechless. Well, see bad sound. These are the monsters. Can I? We just use a scented candle here, maybe. Look, we feel so much better now. It's just chilling out. Don't worry about it. <laughs> it's just minding its own business. I got... mirror broken before? Definitely not. Do we chance it? <laughs> I ain't scared. I ain't scared no thing. So there's more than one. Oh! Aid us, save us, we are doomed. Bound and slave to its desire. I don't think it's a- I think it's a- I think it's a doll. I think these are the dolls that we placed in the doll house. This is the pantry, why am I going in here? <laughs> no dead bodies yet. Listen, Linda. Oh my Listen. god, why are these so fucking loud? Sorry, I gotta change this. This is, like, <laughs> ridiculous. Again, I don't understand why, are, why they are so loud in comparison to literally everything else. Um, I did. I was doing it, uh, individually. I'm gonna just turn all of them down. Can somebody test one of them now and see if what I just did fixed it? <laughs> I mean, I suppose I can test one of them. Unacceptable! That's a little better. I don't remember if that one was ridiculously loud, though. Hold on. What will you learn? That's much what better. What will you learn? Then your actions have consequences! It sounds better to me. Is that an acceptable volume for you guys? <laughs> Are we happier with that, with that volume? It is? Okay, cool. A little lower? I can turn it down just a smidge more. 
Let's try it there. Hold on. I guess I should probably save it if I wanted to maybe work. I mean, they're always going to be louder than everything, but they don't need to be that loud. What will you learn? What will you learn? That your actions have consequences. That better? I can do it. I can do it more. <laughs> That didn't actually look like it changed anything, which is a little, uh, frustrating. The real test is the spooky, scary skeletons, which... Let me... A child. Man. That's still so loud! Why are they so loud?! Oh, boy. We'll do it there. And we'll call it good. Those were just, like, unnecessarily loud. As someone who is extremely loud normally. A body has been discovered! That one I remember being extremely piercing. That seemed acceptable. <laughs> I like our sound alerts. I just don't like them when they're just so loud that I, you know, die inside. Not because they're they've they've scared me either, but just well, I mean, is because they scared me, but because they're just so loud. I want them to be funny and well timed, not just ear piercing. Who's crying? Where are they? <laughs> Fruity. <laughs> um. <laughs> Don't scare the witch! Don't scare the witch! Where would the other... Will she be in the study? Nothing's stopping you from playing more Left 4 Dead. I assume nothing's stopping you from playing Left 4 Dead. Okay, there is another one over here. Um. Yes. Oh, well, you should definitely buy it on PC. Are the cats showing back up again? Uh So help us help us make it pull us through. Are the cats showing back up? They are! Why? It's litter it's because the light is green. It's because the light in the game is green. So y'all get a, a quick look at, at the Lamias. Look, even the ceiling's green. Gotta love it. <laughs> Beautiful. Perfect. So wait, is there gonna be one in... Oh, Emmy, you're here. I gotta... They didn't want us looking at the Lamias. I'm sorry. Is this real? I'm sorry! <laughs> I didn't mean it. I just wanted to. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! I didn't look. Okay, it's fine. There's gonna be a doll in here, and it's gonna scare the piss out of us. Never mind. No doll. Okay. Clips are only broke for you. Is it the master bedroom bathroom that I need to? I don't know why they're broke for you, Fruity. Why'd you break them? Ah! 
I just want to find the dolls. There's another one. I am speechless. Ada, save us. We are doomed. Toss the dark one in the fire. Oh, do we have to... <laughs> Thank you, Emmy. <laughs> I mean, it might be. They might be footsteps. They might be footsteps outside. You don't know. <laughs> Excuse you. Don't worry, ma'am. It's fine. Poor little birdie. Poor bird. Probably died instantly. I mean, that's probably for the best. You don't want that thing... <laughs> it's not a pigeon. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay, so we got... Do I need... Do I need to take this one with me? <laughs> it was a raven or a crow. I couldn't tell. It's not rendered very well. Okay, so this is why we needed to light the fire. I understand. Um, before I go downstairs, because there was crying, I do want to know where the living room is. It's directly to the right. <laughs> we got this. <sighs> Alright, we ready for the bad? Are we ready for the bad? Let's stand by the fire, calm ourselves down for a minute. It's gonna be great. Are you ready? Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna burn we're gonna burn the, the, the rag doll. Um which immediately means that everything's gonna get very bad very fast. So uh it's gonna be fine. <laughs> The fire was definitely the best place for that hideous thing. Alright, just right through here, right? Here it comes. I'm re I'm I mean I say I'm ready. I'm not. I'm not ready. Oh, it does look. It looks fine now. Oh, well, it looked fine. Is this the end of the episode, though? But what on earth is that door doing there? Doesn't matter, it's fine. Are you ready to unlock it? Mm -mm. There's a lock on it. Bloody hell, this is surreal! It's fine, use the key. Done, I doubt the key will be of any use again. And I can't listen to it, so we gotta just open it up. Hey, Daniel, baby, you in here? Daniel, darling. Shit, what did I get myself into? Ha <laughs> 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 um, Let's go ahead and use one of these. Waste a candle if I put it here. What in the world is this place? What are all these writings and why that horrid, damp uh, smell? Oh, oh god. I would like to use one of these. Why won't you let me use a candle? <laughs> I 
I will stretch in a minute, Jody. Hang on a second. We'll pause and we'll get a stretch. Um, right, complaining about the smell of the pocket full of scented candles and then not letting me light a scented candle? Absolute monster. Oh, uh, okay. Thank you for the stretch, Jody. <laughs> I don't want to think about either of those options. What? Alina? No, not Alina. Sophie. That's who you are. Um, I can't go down there. Can I? Hey, have you considered... She just won't let me use the candles, like, at all. And that's a little frustrating. Alright, she can't go down there. I don't want to- I don't want to think about that. I don't like the idea of it crawling at me. Call me weird. Jesus Christ, Emmy, thank you for the gift sub. <laughs> that's a bad room full of dead bodies. But yes, thank you, Emmy. I, I appreciate it. The support means a lot to me. Alina. Oh so Daniel. I keep wanting to call her Alina, but it's Sophie. Help! No, why are you yelling? Someone help us, please! Thank you for the quote, I Jody. Mumble a few questions about the music box. <laughs> I had heard it. The endless grim song. Oh boy. Wouldn't stop hammering in my brain. I would even swear. Yeah, we got quotes. It's good. <laughs> on the other side of the mirror. That thing is still a bad thing. Yeah. <laughs> Impossible. There was no box. It was just a hallucination. And they're harsh. Fruity, the 17 yeah. showed up before your, your 22. I think you have to do 22 right next to the quote, though. Like, no space. No, I think you can choose. I just don't think you can... There might not be a space between them. I don't know, then. I know there is an option to, like, choose a specific quote, but you just get random ones. Mirage. Oh, no! That's not great. That's not great. Um, that is a good one. Oh, okay. So I guess it just doesn't like you, Fruity. Oh no. <laughs> not the not the gym socks. Not the gym socks. Don't worry about it. <laughs> All right, let's start. Let's start episode two. Let's move on. <laughs> Emmy, more gift subs. Why are you? What are you doing, ma'am? What are you doing? <laughs> I don't know, Fruity, but I also don't like it. I don't like that it doesn't work for you. We're gonna see this again. Can't scare you twice if you already know what's coming. Well, well. It appears as though the Prince of Slumber will be granting us an audience. How are you feeling, your house? <laughs> oh no. I Quote 14. Had, I had a dream. I... I'm okay. Thanks Don't worry about coming, it. Lydia. You had us all on tender hooks. <laughs> when I found you... <laughs> my god, Daniel. I'm glad to see you awake. So... I'm better. I wonder I'm, if this scene would be different if it was somebody else way, that found Daniel. I found a note at the Hersha house. It Daniel, the doctor said you need complete rest. Complete. I'm fine. <laughs> I found this. Apparently, Husha received a music box from an acquaintance of his. A certain Mr. Farber. It seems as though he was researching the music box when he vanished. And from what Farber says... 
The music box may be related to everything that has happened. I'm not sure we should. Also, who's this other lady? This After everything that's occurred. We need to find Husha. I saw <gasps> the Cyril, box hi! that Baba describes in this letter. Hi! But it wasn't. Hi, 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 hi! It was as if it were on the other side of. Oh. I think we should take a visit to Baba <laughs> and ask him about the music box and Husha. He has a shop in the city, oh not far from here. Daniel, please. I'm fine. We did get. Some, yeah. We have had some really good jump scares. Um, the owner a few questions. I still like this game. The range of the we did game, don't you? pretty much kill everyone, though. Um, yeah, Travis was one of them. <laughs> Travis was a jump scare. Damn, Daniel. I I vaguely remember that. No, I vaguely remember it. Okay, so Sophie, Erica Farber. Renee and Daniel. Okay, I'm cur again. I'm curious about like what would happen if you got through. I wonder what happens in the first one if Sophie dies and you play as a different character. Hmm. What do you mean four, four fruities? Oh no. The game killed two people. I wanted to make sure. Um. <laughs> yeah, there's 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 a sprucey and a fruity. Don't worry about it. <laughs> okay, who do we want to play as? So we've got. Wow, Erica is jittery. She is uncertain and anxious. Which lol same. Um, Sophie's also a little jumpy. Daniel's okay. Renee has a service weapon and a flashlight. I think so. I think high serenity means that they're they're more they're mo more prone to an anxiety. Because like I said, like when we played as Alexander, he was like he had a couple of uh, instances where he got a little freaked out, but it was just like slight heart beating, and then like was over it but when we played as Etienne who had very high serenity he was just tripping out about everything yeah Renee is a cop uh Renee was born to be a cop and he'll die one too born in the Carib uh, Caribbean he grew disillusioned with the police department in his hometown and set sail for Europe where he thought his integrity and sense of duty would serve him better but the grass wasn't as green as it seemed tired of moving around Renee decided to settle down and do what he could uh do to help his fe new fellow citizens Ferdy is a cop. It's true. Um, so yeah, Daniel is a publicist and ex-entrepreneur whose failed business ventures led him to become an alcoholic. Drinking cost him his health, his marriage to Sophie, and even his home. Daniel, who's been sober for, more, uh, for some time now, has finally managed to secure a stable job and slowly rebuilt his life. No, high serenity is bad. The higher it is, the more anxious they are. Dan yeah, yes, Daniel equals Michael. <laughs> uh, then Erica. Erica manages the Farber and Sons antique shop along with her father, Isaac. If he's the art expert, she's the managing brains. She's always on top of every uh, every slightest detail of the business. Her adventurous spirit takes her all over the world in search of new items to adorn the shop's windows. Incredibly active, Erica has many hobbies uh, and lets her imagination run wild every chance she gets. <laughs> <laughs> gotta love gotta love anxiety right it's great we love it so yeah i saw people said that they want to see erica or sophie do we have a preference who do we want more i kind of i kind of dig erica honestly Wiki says it's more bars is good, but fuck the wiki. <laughs> I'm sorry, Matt. It looks like Erica's winning out. We can do Renee next if Erica dies. <laughs> I mean, the wiki might be right. I just, there was a lot more noise when we were playing as Etienne than there was as Alexander. You say that, you say that now, Fruity. You say that now. Also, I like how it's Farber and Sons, but 
Isaac Farber has a daughter. <laughs> That's what a shadow demon would say. <laughs> Probably. Egika? Egika. Eggy Egika. <laughs> <laughs> Can I offer you an egg in these trying times? Geeka! Egg Geeka! Alright. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? We saw all kinds of stuff here. We might have to think about opening a second more special. Thanks! Thanks! See, Dad left the keys in the flower pot again. It's a good thing, because I forgot mine. God, take them keys. Egg cereal is best cereal. Not best cereal, but a very good cereal. So people sure know, uh, sure know us well. It's a bit ridiculous how often we order takeout. Okay, but takeout is great. Yo, okay, but takeout is great. I love avocados. One of my favorite snacks is avocados with some sriracha and like a slice of pepper jack on top of it and then you pop it in the in the oven for a little bit so the cheese gets all like crispy and delicious and then just eat the shit out of that baby sad's cane the umbrella belongs to mr roman he always forgets it but yeah if you haven't tried avocados with sriracha and uh pepper jack you gotta. You got. It will change your fucking life. <laughs> you didn't know about egg cereal? <gasps> cereal hates eggs, which is fair. Eggs aren't great. <laughs> I'm picky about eggs. How weird. It's not bad to leave the lights on after closing up. It's a very good snack. Don't ever forget about it. <laughs> Fart orbs. Not the orbs. I mean, that's also a very valid way to eat it. I just love... Was there a Lamia lamp? Oh, yeah, there is. <laughs> She's watching y'all. She's fucking watching y'all. Lampia, no! Don't do this to my cat! <laughs> I'm trying to give in stats to let me offer these masks as costumes. We've managed to diversify our customer base, but we've still got a long way to go. This is horrifying. Huh. The old Coltar machine. I think you mean Zoltar. Zoltan? Need to put in a special coin if I want to make it spit out a message. Who knows where those tokens are? Zoltan, isn't it? Oh, what is this? Can't find it. I can't remember where I stored that blasted music box. Thought I left it with the rest of the lot, didn't I? Yeah, some otherwise, where could it be? In this lot, there was also a wardrobe full of dry blood stains. What? <laughs> We took it out into the courtyard and dragged it uh, to one of our storage rooms in the basement, but which one did we place it in? I can't even remember what color or shape it was. What's wrong with me? Could I possibly reveal the blood left behind somehow? I would have to buy luminol, right? That's what the police use. Perhaps that way I could find uh, a lot of products containing the wardrobe and the box with it. Sebastian says I must return it to its original owners, the Legrant Amsberg family. If I can manage that, will this madness come to an end? <laughs> oh, that's horrifying, Matt. No. Thank you for the lamp, you clip. <laughs> Gave my boyfriend one of these classic novels sometime back and fell asleep reading it. Damn boy, they're not that boring. This switch opens the doors to the exhibit room, but I need a handle to turn it. Game, I don't need you freaking out on me. The antique till really matches the feel of this place, but it's drag every time we have to use it. <laughs> Understandable! That sounds terrifying! <laughs> that still sounds so scary! 
Treaty. A copy of the Treaty of Tordesilla? Sia? Spain and Portugal divvied up South America like a couple of high schoolers trading football cards. Okay. No. No. <laughs> I don't want it there. If I crawl under this table and put on a straight face, will a random client buy me? I'm so tired I wouldn't mind being an ornament. Is that you telling me that I can hide there? Yes, it is. Um. Matt. Matt, no. <laughs> Husha loves these gramophones. I've lost count on how many he already has. Wow, Dad is really losing it lately. What's with this huge lock? And how the heck do you turn that shaft? A crank, maybe? Ooh. Yeah, okay. Alright, gotta learn. Gotta learn layout of this stupid building. Nothing there. That burg. Oh. <laughs> Erica, why did you sound like me? So from the inside, I can just picture that big, uh, that pig Walter in there, the big pervert. Vegberg, Berg. We have the same voice actor. Oh dang! Call her up. Tell her she's hella talented. Look at all these cool characters she plays. Me and Erica. <laughs> but no, eat your eat your burg. Enjoy your burg. There's a lot to look at in this dang building. I don't like it. Art history books ranging from Greece to 20th century avant-garde movements. I've leafed through some of them, but this is more my dad's thing. I think I could squeeze under here if I tried hard enough. I love antique shops. Antique shops and thrift shops? My fave. Okay, let's go in. What is this? Dear Isaac, I'm sorry about your trouble getting to sleep. If it's any consolation, I have been suffering the same plight recently myself, perhaps due to the imminent proofreading of my novel. Quality can be measured by the time invested. It should be one of my finest works. However, I suspect that this is not always the case. Despite everything, I have found a, a bit of time to look into your mysterious music box. Based on the cover, or based, based on the carving in the wood, I am certain that it is European from the late 19th or early 20th century. I also noticed that it is of extraordinary quality, perhaps a real luxury item back in its era. I will continue my research. Get well soon, Sebastian P. Husher. <laughs> Not Sebastian Pusher. <laughs> Incorrect. Okay, cool. So that's that. We should digitize all these documents at some point, but who can be bothered? A terrible hissing sound in here. I don't like that. Um. Gallery. Door closed. Enter. Ask at the counter. Oh, that's what that button was for. Okay. This dummy belonged to mom. She's the only person in her family who was fairly good at sewing. Well, have you considered getting good? Fall of the House of Usher. <laughs> oh, no. Hey, what's my guitar doing here? What indeed? Don't know who'd like to lug around this huge thing. Somebody traveling for a while? I don't know. People come up with the craziest stories about the origin of the spyglass. Calm down, everyone. It's just decoration. Guy who sold this to us tried to convince me to believe that it was used in the Battle of, ba of Balaclava. Ha! My ass. Can I go back here? Oh, I don't like that. Oh, I don't like that I can go back here. That's what it said. I'd love to give some kids a scare every time they come here with their parents and start running like a pack of wild wolves. <laughs> Balaclava's what you put on your head. 
like as a mask, which I often get confused with baklava, which is a dessert. They're very different. The ugly old box doesn't do much to showcase these vases. I don't like these sounds. So leather-bound notebooks are more mementos than anything else. This medieval armor has had so much work done that we should almost call it contemporary. It belonged to a duke back in the day. Not to be confused with bat Bataclava, which is what Batman wears in the winter. Oh no. Oh, hey, gun. Oh, hey, gun. We've got some major antique weapon fanatics amongst our customers, especially Baker and Malcolm. Couldn't care less about the other items for sale. Yeah, beat up, beat up Batman. <laughs> Samurai swords, indeed. I feel like it's too early in the game. Door leads to the courtyard of my dad's flat. He must have locked it. We don't, we don't love Batman here. Don't listen to Fruity. Fruity is wrong. We fucking hate Batman here. In point of fact. Mm -hmm. Spray bottle. Spray bottle that appears to have once held dangerous substances. Mirror is shattered. Did one of the clients lose their mind? <laughs> Fruity got a bubble. Aw, oh, dang. That hasn't changed the towels, and now they're covered in dust. He's usually so fussy about these things. Okay, so the bottle doesn't have anything in it just yet, but I assume that's what I have to put the luminol in whenever I can find the luminol, right? Oh, boy. Are these... Yeah, okay, so... Oh, hi. I, apparently I can move the map. Um, I would love to go thrifting with you, Cyril. 100%. We also hate Batman because he won't, he won't eat, eat, uh, he won't eat a girl out. He just won't eat anyone out. And that's not, cause that's not what heroes do. And honestly, I don't want to be a hero then. Yeah. Did you like not hear about any of this? <laughs> so, uh, the new Harley show, the new Harley show had a, like a whole scene where Batman was supposed to be eating out Catwoman, um, and DC stepped in, despite the fact that they do consider the, the show to be canon, they stepped in, and they were like, no, 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 you can't do that, and the reason behind it is, was because heroes don't do that. Yeah, there's some Harley Quinn TV show, I don't know, I don't, I don't follow DC or anything very much, but I found out about this and fucking died, um... Yeah, so heroes don't do that. In case y'all were wondering. Um, <laughs> confirmed lore, no DC hero will. And honestly, that's a that's a right shame. <laughs> right? Villain for life. Heroes are like dimension. <laughs> hey, there's nothing wrong with that, but also personally, let's shake it up. <laughs> An 18th century medical kit complete with instruments from that era. All right. <laughs> I mean, I'd help Selena out. Hey, girl, I heard you got some some problems at home. Let me let me help you out. No, but uh, yeah. So that's that's why we don't like Batman here. Not to mention the fact that you know he's an entitled white man who beats up the mentally ill for kicks and gig shits and giggles. So you know, that's that's. That's also another thing. Yeah, only man bad around this. <laughs> around these parts. <laughs> Happy to help. Um, okay, yeah. She thinks she can squeeze under this table if she had to. I mean, for sure, but that still doesn't change the fact that he has, he has the means to find resources that could help him with that, and he refuses to because he's an entitled white man with too much money. So instead of seeking help and addressing his problems, he would much rather dress up as a giant bat baby and beat up people. <laughs> and that's uh, that's my hot take about Batman. <laughs> what about Bat-Bat or Man-Man? I feel like Man-Man's just too much man.
personally. For me. For me. That's just a little too much, man. But, hey. Whatever y'all are into. I'm not judging. <laughs> man, man is good because men. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Burglar! Man, man got bit by a radioactive man and has all the powers of a man. I am scared. I am concerned about man, man. Surprise, it's just two men smashed together. <laughs> mm -mm. So Lisa's storage rooms and the meter rooms, but it's locked? Is that what she said? Mm -mm. Yeah, it's locked. This man man discourse is terrifying. Yeah, man on man, Abby, no! <laughs> Abby, no! <laughs> Also, Allie, hi! That's what we were just talking about. Cyril didn't know about this. I think there was a man bat villain. <laughs> this, I, this conversation comes up way too often here, honestly. <laughs> For a group that absolutely hates Batman, we talk about Batman a lot. <laughs> One of the Robins just came out as bi? <gasps> Good for him. I'm here for this. Okay, I'm supposed to find some sort of, like, crank? Hmm. What is this? Hold on. Switch opens the door to the exhibit, but I need a handle to turn it. I have a spray bottle and a hanger. Um. Right, lots of people don't know to not like Batman, but they need to, so we do need to let them know that they shouldn't like Batman. Yeah! <laughs> Sprucey Fruit is Matt! Say hello to everyone, Matt. Matt. This is everyone. Don't worry about it. German fellow who sells us these wooden ships is over 80 years old. I wonder how many more we'll be able to purchase. I mean, I think I think you mean Batman is terrible. DC is terrible. <laughs> okay, I don't know what else I can get around here. That's not what I wanted to look at. Oh, there's a door that I can unlock? <laughs> Emmy can never forgive Evil Fruity. Ever. Can I use this key? Hmm? I can use this key, okay. Now I can get rid of this key, fantastic. I do like that they tell me that. <laughs> What's through here? Nothing. Nothing here. No, Evil Fruity nope. set fire to 50 cats. One of our storage units, I think the guards have a key. Ooh. Also nothing in there. Well, Matt knows now. <clears throat> guards have the key, okay. <clears throat> Isaac Farber, Marley Wrangle, Gibbs family. Nothing through there. Oh. I don't know how I Why feel about there being a whole courtyard. Um, I don't know how I feel about this. There's too much to explore here. I like it. I like it. It's cool, but like, 
It's too much. <laughs> like, what am I supposed to- there's so much space, there's so much to look at! Grill is really rusty, each drop of rain seems to rust it even more. Not tree monster. What's that in the bin? Yeah, get it. And then the bin eats me. Silver coal tar token. Fantastic. We can use the terribly haunted uh, coal tar machine now. Fantastic. I love that for us. I'm just also scared that like, because we've got an hour and a half on stream. Right, that's fine. That's lots of time. We still got lots of time, but I'm terrified. I'm terrified of us needing to quit before the end of the chapter. <gasps> Welcome to the Discord. It's wild in there sometimes. Uh, it's not. It's fairly tame for the most part, honestly. Neighbors use this place as a tool shed. Right? And that's the thing. I don't want to lose a dude. How can the shed be locked from the inside? There's something on that table. I wonder if I can sneak in somehow. Probably. <laughs> he did everything wrong. I don't know what you're talking about. You're gonna drop it. It's gonna fall through. You yeah, fucking idiots! You absolute idiot! Erica, you- I go. Oh my god. Don't do that. Don't do that. I thought I could interact with that, but apparently not. Okay. Um. Can we open it up? Mm -mm. Nope, it's blocked. All right, we're just not allowed to go anywhere. They've made it seem like there's a lot to explore and there's not. The real sin was killing all the boom rats, honestly. Will this other lift work? I shouldn't get my hopes up. Lift shaft is spooky as ever. Oh no. What is this bubbly noise I'm hearing? End of shift report date, 11th of August, 1998. Shift night, time submitted, 7 a.m. Agent Sullivan Walter, code 09534. I feel like that's important, so Walter code. Bees? Bees? 09534. My zero kind of looks like a six. Oopsies. Is good ambiance, it's true. Incidents, 10.38 p.m. While on rounds, I detect a small leak in one of the water pipes. Place a bucket under it and send a notice to the building insurers. Uh, 1.13 a.m., I hear someone pounding on the main door coming from outside. I approach and ask who is there with no response. Pounding stops. When I open up, I see nobody in the street. <laughs> Thank you, Travis, I appreciate it. 4.40 a.m. I think I hear a melody playing behind me. I go out into the inner courtyard and find Mr. Isaac Farber, barefoot and wearing nothing but a pair of blue pajamas. His eyes are closed and in his hands he is holding a music box which plays as he walks slowly. He ignores me when I call to him and enters the door leading to the shop. Erica, your dad's gone kind of uh, a little not great. <laughs> mm -mm. Someone were in there doing their job, I wouldn't have to break in. Damn it, are we paying you for nothing? Yes. Do do love me some blue pajamas. Supposedly, supposedly taking care of the plants is a group effort. Someone isn't pulling their weight. Ooh. And what is this? Oh, what is this? Oh, there's mine. Uh, this is a puzzle that I don't have the answer to yet. <laughs> you th 
think something's gonna come up at the sides. I don't see Simon or that pig Walter, but their keys are inside. Oh, oh, you know what? You know what we can use? If I bet the hangar, will it reach the keys? Maybe, but I'm not sure I'll be able to get a hold of them. Oh, do you want to do the whole, like, gum thing then? If we wanted a gun, we'd have taken the cowboy repeater in the other room. <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> we don't want to ruin our building, though. But we are the burglars. This is the main entrance, but Dad and I always go in through the shop. I don't have my keys on me. Okay. Okay, so I need, like, glue or gum or some nonsense. <gasps> Jesus, fuck. I didn't like that. That was spooky. This building is so old that it even has a carriage door, hasn't, uh, which hasn't been used in, I don't know, centuries. <laughs> Butlers. Rips butt bot. Also, ding dong, bing bong, a body has been found. We love you, butt spot. You will be missed. Wait, so I could look in that trash can. No, it's this trash can. Okay, I see. I understand. Hey, isn't anyone taking out the rubbish? No. The answer is no. No one is doing that. Okay, what's on this side? I think these rusty old things belong to someone in block three. Why are they here? We're always digging through trash. Always. Fruity tells me it's a waste to especially, especially a waste uh, to dig around like toilets and stuff. And I just don't think they understand that you find really good stuff in the toilet sometimes. There is ammo in the toilet sometimes. I'm not lying. Not lying. <laughs> it's not an intentional one, but uh, I'll take it. Okay. So I need to figure out how to get those keys, right? The only other thing I can do for the time being... Why are there weird noises in here? The only other thing I can do for right now... What the Excuse hell? me. Don't, don't get near it! <sighs> Sometimes that poop is hiding shotgun shells. Fight me. That door is reinforced with steel. I doubt I could hear anything on the other side. Do you mean stink bombs? Okay, well, that can wait for a minute. Because we're going to listen to what Coltar has to say. He just ate that. <laughs> he just ate that coin. This is run from Coltar. There's something you forgot. Remember and be blessed? Remember it and you will be blessed. Oh, okay. Thanks, Coltar. Um... That's, that's cool. I'm sorry, the monster walks around now? It's gonna jump, it's gonna jump us. That's a good question. There are so many things that I need to unlock. And no way of me unlocking it at the moment. <laughs> um, Because I think all of the key icons require the, the keys in the 
uh, in the security office. This game, this game is dope. This game is very good. Can I examine you? It's empty. Could be useful if like need to carry liquid. Okay. Um. Easily bend this if I need to. Can I examine? My worst moments. I play my music and forget the world. Rock always helps me find my way back. Yeah, I assume there are multiple tokens for Coltar. I think so. I do think so. Um. All right, I feel like this one's a lot less straightforward than the last one. Vases are worth a fortune. We should keep them safe somewhere. Like... Oh, no. I crawl under this table. Yeah, 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 yeah. I get it. You can hide there. Did someone put something in the samurai's mouth? Another Coltar coin. Ooh, and I can't do anything with that just yet. <laughs> it's lots of lots of samurai gear just lying around. It's cool, it's cool, it's cool. No big deal. Um Where the armor and take the gun, I wish. Let's get another fortune. Play and win, play and lose. Hmm. Having doubts go right through. This isn't helpful. None of this is helpful. Right through where? I need I need you to be a little more specific, buddy. Oh, there's a door straight ahead of me? Wait, no, I can't open this just yet. Because I need a, like, a crank or whatever for the button. <laughs> At this point, it's, uh, we're, we're playing a game of Where's Lamia? Where's she gonna show up next? Is she down here? Yeah, she is. She's sleeping, though. I'm not gonna pick her up. Yeah, Lamia, okay, I said I wasn't gonna pick her up, but I'm gonna. Lamia is my baby. Hey, kitten. Lamia, come here. Come here. Come see your dolly. Here she is. Like I said, I just I just picked her up and she's very sleepy, but she's a good girl, aren't you? Yeah. Are you a are you a little baby bean? Are you a little bean? <gasps> boop. Boop, 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 boop. She's a good sweet baby and we love her. Yeah. You're so sleepy though, aren't you? Always so sleepy. Here you go. <laughs> That's my baby girl Lamia. Um we also have Devo, who's also a void, but he is I think sleeping on my bed right now. Last I knew he was taking a nap in the bedroom. Um, and then we have Farley, who is a little more elusive. It's very hot up here, though, and he's a very large, very fluffy cat, and so he doesn't come and hang out up upstairs all the time. Yeah, Llama! So her name is Lamia, but we call her Llama, because she's a llama. They are all cats. <laughs> I promise. They are all, all felines. Um. Okay. Where else can we go? But they're very good. Ooh, excuse me. Oh my god. Sorry. I'm sleepy. I don't know. 
what else I can do? But no, my cats are wonderful and lovely and we adore them. Sometimes they come and say hello. And we love that for us. Yeah, Zoltan is no help. No help. None whatsoever. Um. <laughs> Sounds like a good deal. Happy, happy murder. <laughs> Llama is a stuffed animal, it's true. I wish to be giant. Thank you very much. I'm also waiting. I was going to say, I'm waiting for something to show up in the windows. And lo and behold, got a boy hanging out. Rude, rude, rude. Uh, I don't think he was there before. Possibly? Oh, no. <laughs> Um, game is, I can't even say game is going, oh, I have to get up there somehow. We, I'm a little stuck at the huh. moment. Bean dad. Nope. Yeah, we haven't died in a while, but I don't know, like, I know, I know I'm supposed to use the hanger to get the keys from the security office, right? However, she's all like, I don't know that it's actually gonna be able to hook it. And it's like, can you not like put a hook in the hanger so that you can hook the keys to pick them up? I don't, yeah, so I'm a little, I'm a little stuck. Um, so hey, if one of my designated guide friends Fruity and or Travis wants to kind of look it up and give me a, a brief hint, maybe? I wouldn't hate that. <laughs> um. I'm trying to think of, like, what I can do. There's not really much <laughs> that I can think of at the moment. Drop me a haiku if you find something fantastic. Beautiful. Love that. Um, don't like that ringing noise that I'm hearing. Because, like... I need to use the hanger here. So, like, if I bend the hanger... Will it reach the keys? Maybe. But I'm not sure I'll be able to get a hold of them. And it's like, I don't know what else she wants me to do. I can look at these, but I can't interact with any of them. There's that bad ringing sound. And the kind of crunchy ringing. Like, I can't interact with these. I can just look at them. Hmm. Hi, Debo. Like, I can't get in here. Nope. Because it's locked. Hi. There was a spooky ghost in there. Lift shaft. Okay. And just bad ringing. Don't like the ringing sound. 
She do got a sassy walk. Look at her. <laughs> like, I can see what I need to do in the long run. Like, there's a there's an open there's an open window on top of the shed that I should be able to access. <gasps> Message in Discord. Thank you. Ooh. Ooh, 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 okay. I don't know that I can get in there. We'll try. Thank you for that. Oh, yep, hanging dude gone now. Okay, so... Because I thought my issue with... I have been informed. But I need to go to the cellar. However, I thought the cellar was locked. Okay, just making sure I know where I'm going. <laughs> Maps are useful, especially with uh, static cameras. Can we... It's fine. We'll try this. We'll see what happens. I might have missed something. That's entirely plausible. There's so much to look at in this dang game. Which I like. I like how much there is. But especially dealing with, like, the antique shop. There's just so much stuff. Um, like with the Husher Mansion, there was a lot to look at, but it's still just like a house. <laughs> oh, it's the thing I dropped. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I see. I see. I know she said I could come down here, but a part of me was like, that's not going to work. Work. Toluca Lake. Isn't that... Look, I might be wrong, but isn't Toluca Lake the lake in Silent Hill? Oh, I didn't mean to use. I wanted to combine. That, not that. Nope. I'd like to combine the proper items, please. What do you mean you can't? It's a magnet, right? Oh, okay, I had to take take the magnet off. I I see. I understand now. Uh-huh. Okay. Alright, we got it. I mean, no one wants to go to Toluca Lake. I just want that dang magnet. Let me just snap it in half. No souvenirs for us. Only magnets. It's great, don't worry about it. Can we... I need to stop running. I want to run. Okay, cool. Toluca Lake is, if, is featured in Silent Hill. The no smoking sign contains llamas. <laughs> Lamia doesn't want you to smoke. It's bad for your health. Thank you for the confirmation, though, Travis. <laughs> Thought I was going a little, a little mad there for a second. Um, look, I know we're a couple months away, but are we excited? Are we excited about our Halloween stream? Oh, it's also a real place. Where? Where is it located? Is it Pennsylvania? This is the wrong direction. It's not Pennsylvania. Um... California? Is Toluca Lake in California? What the? Is it really? I don't think I've ever been to Toluca Lake. I had the beaches. Also, hi, scary mummy boy! Huh? <gasps> you 
idiot! Oh no, 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 no! That's a lot better. That's a lot better. <laughs> That's a lot less loud. That's manageable. Also, yeah, I got you your spooky, scary skeletons, Allie. <laughs> so I'm not excited about having to hold my breath. Just saying. All right, so it can't see you, but it sure can hear you. Running is futile. You need to keep calm and stay quiet. In order to do so, you need to control your breathing by gently moving. Oh, gently moving left and right trigger? Try to keep the white circle as close to the frame as possible. Feels your presence. It will come closer and closer with each mistake you make. Don't let it reach you. Yeah, I don't like this either. <laughs> this is awful. I have to, like, slowly release and squeeze the triggers. Oh, and it's so sensitive. <laughs> I'm glad it doesn't last terribly long. That was still way too long in my opinion, but like... Christ, what the hell was that thing? I must be hallucinating. It's not as long as the hide mechanic from the first one. That, yeah, not great. <laughs> You're right, there was no A and D to run. <laughs> I'm never gonna get used to that. It was so sensitive. I barely moved my fingers off the triggers for it to like, fill up. God, that was horrible. We got the keys, though, so that's cool. Yep, the only time we'll see that tutorial. <laughs> At least I didn't skip through it this time. Okay, where... Ooh, can I unlock this now? Use it. Use it. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's just quick time events. They're just not great. Well, what do you know? Walter has a semi-pornographic poster in here. But he's such a nice man. He's never stalked me or anything. Yikes. Mommy, his eyes on the poster, Jesus. Here's the key to the switch you'll find on the shop counter in case anyone needs access to the exhibit gallery. There's security cameras. Okay. Hold on, I gotta, I wanna see. That's terrifying! No, it's sarcasm. She, she doesn't like Walter. Walter is terrible and awful. He has stalked her. <laughs> See, the security monitors are in full swing. Nice. <laughs> the more you know. That's probably why I've never been to Toluca Lake. Or near it. Because it's just full of fancy rich people. Uh, end of shift report. Date 22nd of August, 1998. Shift daytime. Time submitted, 7 p.m. Agent, uh, Ritveld, Simon. Simon code. I don't know that I'll need these, but I'm gonna write them down anyway. Um, 55173. 8.51 a.m., the plumber from the insurance arrives and repairs the leak in the pipe. I sign the insurance claim form. 10.22 a.m., a package is delivered to Block 2, Flat 3B. Nobody's home. It's stored at the doorman's desk temporarily. Who's block to flat 3B? I know I can check that in uh, on the whatever those are, mailboxes. 
It's at the Dorman's desk temporarily. 12.06 p.m., Mr. Isaac Farber is asked about the incident which took place during the night shift. He seems to be confused and not know what I'm talking about. And appearing upset, he asks me many questions. I offered to call a doctor, but he assures me he is fine. 3.17 p.m., a door-to-door -door salesman is found trying to sneak into the inner courtyard. I usher him out of the building. Okay. Um... Ooh. What's through here? What is this bubbling noise? Crank handle! <gasps> Could easily hide under this table. Do you want to? <laughs> Don't, it's probably just the bubbles, me. Crime scene. Very apropos. Where are you going? That's not the direction I told you to go. Um, okay, can I go through here? I should have listened! <laughs> it's true, y'all do. That's my bra! Fuck, Bulger, you bloody pervert. This had to be you. Son of a bitch. Just you wait. Fantastic. Love that. Here's Filthy. Why am I not surprised? Although, look who's talking. Are you not gonna take your bra back? Hydrogen peroxide. It makes noises. <laughs> I like it. I like it a lot. Are you just gonna leave that there? You're just gonna leave it there. Okay. Okay, look, controls. I need you to chill out for a second. I know this bathroom is awful. There was a bra in the in the, in the bathroom though. Of, but of course there's not gonna be bullets in this toilet because we don't have a gun, Fruity. Oh my gosh. Come on. Lovely, Walter is displaying the complaint I filed against him as if it were some kind of prize. See, he's taking it very seriously. We don't though. Yeah, but would you rather just leave it there for him to continue to do whatever with? Where am I? Hmm. Out you go. Okay, cool. I mean, we could just set fire to it in the, uh... Alright. <sighs> I guess let's go into the gallery. Back in here we go. Where are all these doors that I can unlock? In the courtyard. Do we want to unlock those first or do we want to unlock the gallery first? I think we should... Oh, hold on, there's more... Can I open the front door? Hold on a second. Cause I realize it's like not even marked on my map. I don't like this camera angle either. Hold on just a second. My captions decided to quit. Ah! Partway through. Game! Game! Fuck. Don't do that. Fuck. Oh, lordy. <laughs> okay, so we're just not even gonna mark that on the map. I see. I understand. 
Hand Monster broke the captions. They're back up now, though. Um, so who was B2, flat 3B? These are all B3. That's B4. Okay, so it's on the other side. B2, 3B. Joseph Schreiber. Is the the boy who had the package um, staying at wherever? Okay, we're gonna go through here so that we can get to the courtyard and I can unlock some of those rooms, and then we'll do the gallery. I'm sure that the gallery has something that I absolutely need to progress, and that's fine. Game. Game, did you crash? <laughs>